All right, we've got the jackfruit back here. It's been a few days and it's getting soft already. Unfortunately, we may have waited too long on this. I don't know. Or maybe it's just right because you know how like a lot of times bananas with little brown spots are just right. We'll see. It's probably going to be really sweet and we're going to try a new technique for cutting it. I've looked online and what I've found is that oh, there's two ways to do it. One is you take a, a slice and go all the way across and you cut it straight open like you're cutting into any kind of fruit or vegetable that you would want to cut straight in half and get the insides out. But the problem is that what's inside of the jackfruit is seed pods all over the place and each seed pod is held in place by some kind of fiber that's attached to the outside of the jackfruit. So if you slice it in half and you try to pull the seed pods out from the middle, then you're going to have to remove them from this web of, of entanglement that's holding it into the rest of the fruit, which is a big time consuming process. So that's also easy to cut it, but this way it's going to be harder. What we're going to do is we're going to circle around the top and cut the, the top part off. Then I'm going to circle in in a um, pattern that's going to loop it and loop it at an angle so that I can kind of peel away the outside. And when I peel away the outside, hopefully it'll take away all those little fiber parts and leave mostly all the seed pods intact. Sometimes some of the seed pods come out. But either way, they'll be removed from the actual fiber part of the fruit that's not to be eaten normally. And then all we'll have to do is we'll have to take each seed out of the pod and then put the pods in a bowl and then basically use that for our whatever we're going to use jackfruit for. And in our case, we're going to make jackfruit barbecue out of it. So let's get started. It's, Chef Mike is going to cut the jackfruit It's very off. soft. You don't want to go in too deep, but this is very soft. This is a really ripe jackfruit, and you know, I think we probably do want it this ripe, actually. I think most people would. We saw some in the store that were really yellow, solid mm -hmm. yellow. I have a feeling those weren't ready. Unless this thing happens to be rotten on the inside, then we're in big trouble. Are you sure you don't want to leave the top there for something to hold on to while you spin it in circles? Uh, hold on to the stem. Well, this is how you're supposed to do it in what mm. I saw online. Okay. You're supposed to cut away this first. Then, I'm not going to pull it out yet. Then you start basically cutting into the line that you made up top and then kind of going out at an angle, not too deep. I hear the train coming back in. Not too deep, and then you get wider and wider as you go. You just kind of turn it and just keep going. Now, I've never done this before, keep this in mind. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Please don't cut yourself. Well, I'm more concerned that this is going to be a complete disaster. We'll see. And there's definitely some soft spots on this one, like we were saying. I don't think those soft spots were there when we bought it. No. But when we took it, brought it home, it kind of got damaged in the car with all the other groceries. Mm. Kind of like bananas. I think it might be something like that. Once it starts to get ripe, like bananas, you can really ruin them by not being careful with the way you handle them. All right, here's the other cut. So I'm gonna kind of make the same width all around, but at an angle and just keep going, keep going. I can feel it starting to peel away already, but just keep going with this. Make sure you're deep, but not too deep. And if, it's too, if you're too deep, it's not gonna matter because you're gonna have to tear these seed pods apart anyway. We gotta get some kind of a bowl once I get this done so we can put it straight into a bowl. Keep going at an angle. And you didn't even put coconut oil on your hands. Oh yeah, I know. I saw all these people online put it. Oil is bad. <laughs> Never use oil. Avoid oil. I don't even know if this knife is clean. I sure hope it is. I never assume yeah. anything's clean, especially in this house where we happen to be and we're at an unnamed, undisclosed location. <laughs> I can smell this. This smells really good. Oh yeah. Oh, I, look at that. I just uh, that's just really soft. Oh my gosh. In soft spot. <laughs> I don't smell anything. Of course, my nose was running because we were outside walking in the 50 degree weather. Here. And we're also <laughs> breathing in cat litter from the cat litter box. I, I my theory also on allergic to cats is that no one's maybe people aren't really allergic to cats at all. It's the damn poop and pee that they're that they don't clean the litter box out enough. You're rambling. <laughs> yeah. What does that have to do with jackfruit? I have no idea. It says that I'm cutting a jackfruit next to a cat litter box. The cat litter box we is have over to there. Talk it's about got it. a hood on it. 
I was gonna move the Lazy Susan with the napkins on it, but I decided to just let that lay there. <laughs> no sense in fighting it's so with picturesque. my family about it. <laughs> These are kids' stickers on the table here. I couldn't couldn't get this off. Stickers or somebody somebody was doing their gel nails here. Gel nail polish with sparkles in it. It wouldn't come off the table. <laughs> right, I'm starting to see a little bit of water coming out of this. This is. Uh -oh. Reaching the end. I brought you a cutting board. Okay, now take the jackfruit over here and oh, this is really soft. Oh my gosh, this may be overripe. It's like carving a pumpkin. No, tree, it's huh? soft. Oh. It may be too soft. It may be rotten. All right, now here's this these fibers. You can see them. Neat. That this is the stuff you don't you'll be fighting with if you cut it from the inside. You'll be fighting with all these fibers, trying to get the fruit out. All right, now this we got it from here. Let's start pulling it. We'll be started. We started right here. Hmm. Well, maybe we're okay. Yeah. I bet when you approach those rotten spots, it's not going to rip off. It's Oh, man. I am I feel like I tore into the fruit there. Yeah. I don't know if I cut uh, too deep. Yeah, the skin's not coming off. Well, this is the top. Uh, okay. See, this is, it's still, uh, is it attached to the stem? I don't know. I feel like you're doing surgery now. <laughs> Yeah, you can see how tough these are. Yeah. This is what I was trying to avoid. Stuff we saw <laughs> online. Yeah. See, this is not any fruit. This is just yeah. the fiber parts wow. that you don't want. That's tough. No wonder jackfruit in the can is so expensive. Somebody has to do all this yeah, but, work. But <laughs> we, as we saw, as you watched in the, earlier in this video, it's incredibly high in sodium and you can't get the sodium out so you don't want to get canned jackfruit I would never recommend that to anyone anymore now that I know how much sodium's in there oh my gosh well you can see the pods yeah. very clearly oh that's the part you eat those little yellow things the pods that's the only part that's edible yes that's a lot of work for just a few pods well at least they don't look rotten You've got your finger really close to one, so be careful not to damage it. Yeah. Well, it's okay. We have to tear it apart anyway to get the seed out. I mean, the pod. Mm. Oops, see, I, I just damaged that one, but you can see yeah, that's part of the fruit right there. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna, but I opened that one by accident. See, these are all connected. I'm trying to cut this. <laughs> Is this gonna be I one think of this is the hard dumb, part. Dumb and Dumber videos <laughs> where we struggle. Yeah, it looks like Dumb and Dumber. That's so what we had comments on our videos. This doesn't look as easy as some of those other five. Everyone wants videos. us to have have this down and be experts at it in order to be able to make videos. Otherwise, they make fun of you. <laughs> well, yeah. If you don't do it right, this is what you could struggle with. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs> the video we watched last night was only five minutes, and we're already on six thirty. Well, the, the videos we watched also didn't really say much. We no. weren't talking much when yeah, they were doing it. Yeah, the last one we that's saw. That's probably because they were cussing in the background. That spiral cut jackfruit that didn't have any audio. Yeah, because they're like, all the screaming and cussing, you wouldn't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, see, this is going to be difficult. All right, I'm going to pause and we'll pick up after Mike figures this out. <laughs> Cutting this? Are we rolling? Now we're rolling. I'm recutting this deeper because I think that I just didn't cut deep enough. And I'm wearing a jacket while cutting a jackfruit. You have to, that's required. This is a seed, right? Not a pod. Right. I just feel like it's not, it, this, this thing isn't peeling like I've seen online, so maybe I just didn't cut it deep enough. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I'm cutting it deeper. Alright, I just pulled one of these out, I'm going to these uh, one at a time, and that's what it looks like. And when you break it open, you got the seed pod right here. And try not to cut yourself with a knife. 
take the seed mm -hmm. out and this is the fruit this is the, the fruit, fruit right can, here i was going to put the fruit in yeah. a bowl not yes. with the seeds yes uh, that's the seed that's not the fruit oh. Okay. So this is the fruit part, and you got to keep all those, and we're gonna cook all those for Jackfruit Barbecue. Okay. How's it going, Mike? Oh, uh, we're having to cut this whole thing apart with a knife. I thought we could peel it apart, but we can't. You can see there's like a center stem. I have to cut mm -hmm. away at the bottom where the seed deposit are attached, and a lot of times I need to cut at the, between the outside and here too, mm -hmm. trim it down. It's looking good. We got a, a lot of fruit here and a lot of these jackfruit seeds to roast and we've recruited the help of my nine-year-old granddaughter <laughs> to help pull the fruit apart. Okay, we're approaching the end of the useful life of this jackfruit. Uh, and we have <laughs> almost no daylight left. The seeds we've are... We've been here all day. <laughs> the seeds are getting smaller. That's how I knew we were almost done cutting. We got a big bowl of fruit there and a whole bunch of seeds that we can toast. Okay, all the jackfruit is cut up. What do you think, Mike? That's the inside. That's If we cut it on the middle, That's we would have seen this. We have to, would have to go through it. So I don't know if it was easier to do it the way we did or this way, because either way you got something to go through. The outside skin was thinner. Is it hard like a bone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to cut it with the knife. The outside skin, for the most part, you pull away. That's but I still had to cut a lot of the ones on the outside. I made a big mess. Are, are, all, are your hands all sticky with jackfruit? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. And we spent about an hour, three of us, working on this. It's almost three hours of work. Yeah. Oh, to really? go, it's a huge oh, bowl. That is a lot of fruit. And we're going to fill it with barbecue it sauce and good. break it up with a fork. And then we got all those seeds, which you don't, don't get in the can. Yeah. You don't get those in the can. Kind of roast those seeds. And how about our hands? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our hands were all sticky. Sticky and disgusting. Yeah, Absolutely I had to a mess. Rinse, I had to rinse mine. All right, next step is cooking. What a mess. Oh, God. It looks like we killed a jackfruit in here. We slaughtered it. 